Sweet. Okay. I think we are live. All right. Perfect. Welcome, Gina. Thank you. <laughs> I'm stoked that you're here and I'm just excited. I know that your story and just like your experience and everything is going to be super helpful for other practitioners to hear and to yeah, and you're just like a super rad person. So uh -huh. anyway, <laughs> um, <laughs> do you want to just let everybody kind of know like like who you are, where you're from, like what yeah. what you like what your title is or what you enjoy doing? And I, something that's cool sure. about you too is like you're you're multifaceted. It's not just like yes. a I'm just a practitioner doing a practitioner thing. But anyways, yeah. I'll I'll let you dive Very into much. it. Yeah. So um, I have been practicing in New Mexico for several years as a traditional Chinese medicine practitioner. And I started my functional medicine practice in tandem with that pretty much at the same time. And then uh, following that, we have the um, amazing program in New Mexico that allows us to be um, an extension of um, well, we call it an expanded practice. And so I studied um, along with the functional medicine injection therapy, which just integrated beautifully into the functional medicine aspect and all the biohacking and stuff that's come alive today. And so that's where my practice started. And I went on to specialize and dive deeper into herbs. And with that, um, that took me into being a TCM dermatologist and opening up my pharmacy. And with the pharmacy, I have these decoction machines and I decoct your herbs traditionally in these machines all together. So you get that synergistic do yao pair of all the herbs, um, all those compounds that come together in that process. And so um, that just really launched me into this whole new direction with my practice and really um, being able to utilize the functional labs and um, really tailoring these uh, herbal formulas along with all of the supplementation and the herbs. And so being able to treat individuals um, for their all their elements and see the differences on the labs in tandem with just how they're feeling um, was has been an incredible experience that's just pushed me to continue doing this deeper, deeper, and just more expansively. And so with that, I eventually um, was very much um, not only being burnt out by just the monotony of the insurance and everything mm -hmm. and not being able to really give people everything they deserved um, as a practitioner and what I have access to without their insurance company saying, nope. And so for a long time through those years, um, you know, they would have to pay for things out of pocket and didn't understand why their insurance company wouldn't take care of this. So a lot of conversations around that constantly. And mm -hmm. so it just got me to the point where I knew there just had to be another way. <laughs> and mm -hmm. so I started doing more consulting, just consulting people um, and really got out of the insurance realm uh, before really launching a virtual practice. Um, but I got my feet wet in it and I was like, you know, this is definitely what I want to do. Thankfully, the functional medicine allowed me to do that on a whole nother scale um, because I could look at labs and build custom formulas and nutrition plans and all of these things all together. And so I took a leap and started to open up um, my practice locations to all the way up to Minnesota and California. And so I've been licensed in California and New Mexico uh, for quite a while. And I was just taking this leap, did some um, studies in biological dentistry uh, with an ex-business partner. And so that just really expanded my perception of biological medicine in general and how and we all of it was in person like at this point everything was in person yes yeah, yeah. everything's wow. in person and and so you know with all of that um there I couldn't reach everybody that 
was interested. You know, I would get calls from out of state and I started, you know, asking the question and how I can do this more cohesively. Mm-hmm. And I really wanted to, I started dabbling and looking around into the virtual spaces and, and how I can do that. But I realized I needed more of a structure with a practitioner that has been doing this and understood that. And so for myself, I'm very self-sufficient. And so I was very tempted to just dive in by myself. And, you know, a dear friend of ours, you know, connected me with you. And so (laughs) I was just like, what's going on? What are you doing? And (laughs) she's like, I think you're really going to like Michelle. And so that's where that started. I gave you a call and, you know, I just knew even before I called you, I was like, (laughs) Like totally, yeah. That was like that was like right around when the summit was happening, right? And like I don't know if you attended the summit or not. I can't remember, but it was like right at that time, or right after the summit, or right before the summit. I can't remember, but it was like right then. And you were like, "Do you have a call?" Like I don't see it. It was something like your calls are like scheduled too far out. Like, can I do something sooner? (laughs) Like, Like, I'm ready now. Yeah, yeah. I did. Yeah, you had the summit. I did all those the the short courses just to get an overview of everything and how you laid like those pillars out and I was like oh yeah this is what I need (laughs) was it the workshop the five-day workshop yeah start to scale yeah yeah it's a good one there's a lot of good stuff in there so good I mean (laughs) if if people wanted they can run with that for a little bit right yeah totally there's a lot of get a little foundation Yeah, you hear that? I see practitioners listening to this. Check out the workshop. If you need like a stepping stone, like it is good. It's a very good stepping stone. So good. And that's what I love about working with you is not only do you build these incredible stepping stones that take like the anxiety out of it of what am I doing, but you paint a great picture. It's a great solid stepping stone and it just feeds right into the next stage. It's so well organized, everything you do. And I'm so tedious about those things, which is why I've been so (laughs) self-sufficient, running the pharmacy, running the practice, all these things on my own. And it's like, that's something you also uh, really provide in these mentorships Mm -hmm. is how to delegate and trust the process. Um, And so that's what I'm also still working on. But I'm I'm closer, you know. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I mean, just totally. diving into this mentorship with you was a huge step. Mm-hmm. For me. Totally. But what you delivered yeah. just made that so solid. And I just trusted it right out the bat. <laughs> so like to kind of put things in context. So you kind of had like all of these pieces that you were in person doing in-person practice, expanding a lot, but you had mm-hmm. all of these pieces that just felt like they weren't like working together is that right like it was almost like compartmentalizing these different aspects of like what you enjoyed doing and what was working and the people that you were working with is that correct yeah more so on the in-person scale where I felt Mm -hmm. like when I walked into the clinic here is the pharmacy over there Mm -hmm. and and here's me in the treatment room And again, here is Gina wearing all these hats, treating all the stuff, people are resting or in between treatments. I run to that pharmacy, I put things together, all this stuff. And it was nonstop. Like, I don't know where I got the energy, but thank goodness I had it. But eventually I knew burnout was going to hit me hard Mm -hmm. and I wanted Mm -hmm. to be preventive, you know, because that's what I preach and teach in my practice. I was like, okay, something needs to change. Oh, how many of you are there, right? Where it's like, we're preaching, we're teaching, we're educating, we're like, we're these super fans of like, let's prevent burnout. And then like, we, on the other hand, are just like, dying like we're exhausted we're depleted we're like completely stretched thin burning the candle at both ends like trying to survive right and then it's like we're trying to show up and like be an example yeah Yeah. and like what is that energetic like hello like people who are like I can't find my ideal client or I can't I'm not getting the results I'm not getting it's like look at you 
Mm -hmm. Like, where are you at? Where's your integrity? How is that playing into your revenue, your clients, the quality, like all of the things? Yeah, that's a whole nother piece. That revenue, I was not paying myself. (laughs) <laughs> so <laughs> you're like not taking care of yourself not paying you're yourself, not paying yourself at all not I'm like, taking huh. care of yourself at all I'm, I'm really passionate about what I do so much that I just throw my money right back into it because whether it's education or you know herbs or machines or whatever and I love doing that however I needed to develop a clearer, stronger structure that's going to support me in the long run along with my businesses. And so, and that's where having an, a community, a group and a mentor is so important for making sure you have that accountability. And so, um, 100%, like that is, I just realized my, the mic that I was using was like uh, on the side. I don't know if you could hear me. Okay. But the mic that I was using right. was like <laughs> over here, like, <laughs> Oh, anyway. Um, but yeah, like that community piece is like so, so, so important because I think as practitioners, I feel like the type of people who end up being practitioners, a lot of us are like very lone wolf. Like I'll do it on my own. We're independent. We don't necessarily consider ourselves like team players or like whatever. Right. Cause if we were, we probably be in like a workplace or like a nine to five or like a let's be a part of a team you know but it's like we need to be around those other people women whoever practitioners who are on that same path because it's freaking hard like it's so important to win together and cry together (laughs) exactly (laughs) I've had that the hard way (laughs) Yeah. And all of us, you know, that come into this space, we've all learned that the hard way and we don't have to do it alone. Yeah. And it's okay to support each other, hold each other accountable, share our wins and share our, not necessarily failures, but where we've really struggled. struggled. I mean, yeah. 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 Cause it's like, yeah. you're not the only one and to lay that out on the table and to be like, Hey, this is really hard right now. Or like, this is like mm-hmm. what I'm going through right now. And for someone else to really see you in that And like, I think there's also like, just in the practitioner space, there's so much like competition and like bashing and just like, but to have another practitioner, like, like a colleague be in that space with you and be like, I fucking get it. Like I've been there or I just went through that or like, I'm going through that actually right now. Exactly. Or coming out of a space where you're undervalued and, and people don't, you know, really value your worth and, and cheer you on when you've made strides, not only for yourself and your business, but for their business as well. And I've struggled with that. I've started so many businesses that I didn't personally own and was just lost so much in the end. And I was just like, wow, what this just happened again. I'm tired of that. (laughs) <laughs> and so and yeah you know, it's it's about building those teams and really finding um you know people that you're aligned with that mm-hmm. understand what you've gone through that are right there with you there's an abundance of clients out there there's an abundance of money and healthcare and herbs and all of these things and we have to get out of this mindset you know that sabotages us and our team players And we have to really get out of that box and really take that leap of faith and Mm -hmm. a risk to find those people we were truly aligned with. And and this year launched me into that. This year launched me into literally losing everything structurally in a physical realm where I had to really dive deep and take a huge risk with money, with place, with personal matters that you know, I was like, well, it's, it's do or die. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Like we can only go up from here. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Like, like this, this has to be like, okay. (laughs) You can start from anywhere. And if you can start from a conscious place where you're Mm. not in this survival mode, do it. Mm. And, you know, I was in a survival mode situation and Mm. it changed my life. This yeah. year has been extreme lows, extreme lows to extreme highs, everything mm-hmm. in between. It's been a beautiful mm-hmm. process. And it's also brought me around to just taking care of myself through that process and allowing myself to be there while also 
being in this space with my clients, sharing mm -hmm. the real story and real life situations while not only maintaining my current practices, but building a whole new virtual one that's been incredible. And out of that, I have Morishige Biohealth Solutions, where mm -hmm. I launched my virtual practice. And coming out of that, now I have the Morishige Biohealth Foundation, which is a hey. nonprofit foundation. I don't think I knew this. Oh, yeah. And so <laughs> at the end of the six month program for my clients, I, I step into the financial solvency realm with them and help them contribute to a nonprofit of their choosing. Wow. We have to come from this space of abundance and mm. the more we live in, you know, this, the space of our dreams and how we want to be of service to other people that just, it just brings this abundance in and it flows in and out and the ripple effects. That. Yeah. The ripple yeah. Effects. And so I match them. They, you know, yeah. they don't really put yes. anything into it. I just match a portion of their program fee and we contribute <sighs> to their organization of choosing. That is so cool. Yeah. That is so cool. I <laughs> love so that. Excited about Damn, it. That is so cool. Ah, <laughs> mm. uh, so do you want to chat a little bit about your six months inside of the mentorship and this, like, what, like, how, how did it help you? What did it do for you? How did it? Yeah. Let's, we'll just leave it at that. How did it help you? <laughs> oh my gosh. It, <laughs> so many, I mean, where do I start? I can mm -hmm. say first and foremost, um, it helped the way you structured everything, mm -hmm. each lab, each pillar, um, the information you provide, the the support along the way. It mm -hmm. was helpful for anybody that's going through anything emotionally, psychologically, or physically. Mm -hmm. I was able to not only have the support of, the, of you and the community help me in my own deep dive in my own labs, um, which we all just want to treat ourselves, right? But <laughs> <laughs> at least I could bounce it off of you and say, oh, okay, now I can order all these supplements <laughs> for myself. Um, so being able to not only um, have the community support when building your own health back up after either being depleted from working yourself into the ground or having some traumatic experience or breakup or whatever it may be in your life. Mm -hmm stepping into a community like this is so empowering mm -hmm. and, you know, having, for instance, the, uh, the meditations provided the hypnotherapy, oh my gosh, so incredible. Um, <laughs> all these little bits and pieces that just bring it together. Mm -hmm. is beautiful mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. so nurturing and mm -hmm. the program itself just says, shows me my experience was how you are as a practitioner in general. Aww. And so I felt really held and really supported through the whole process. And then mm -hmm. we dive into the labs. We dive into understanding each module and the work that comes with that. I love that you give us the power to mm -hmm. really do put our own spin, our own edge on mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. you know? It's you give us a great framework to mm -hmm. really make it our own. And mm -hmm. that's a really beautiful piece of it. Um, so not only do I feel like I own all of the information and have incredible resources and an incredible community to really come back to anytime that's, it's just, it's a win-win all around. And so once I got all these modules done and really started implementing things, um, then came the launching of my program, which <laughs> I was just. I was so nervous about it because I'm such a perfectionist about things. And I yes, knew always, I so was, many of us are. <laughs> I was like, I know there's more I can tweak, but the encouragement you give of just get it out there was so helpful. Um, after, you know, giving us a space to kind of run it by everybody and, and all these things and getting a little feedback, I was like, all right, I just got to get this out there now. <laughs> Um, for personal reasons, and that I just wanted to be within that program time frame while mm -hmm. making that big step. Mm -hmm. So I encourage mm -hmm. that, you know, at least yeah. towards that last couple of months. Yeah. Um, and so 
instantly, it was just timely. Instantly, you know, I was able to bring a client in and had several other interests. And before I had even completed the program, I was able to cover the cost of the program itself just through launching the program, at my new program. <laughs> so I was, you know, to be able to make this incredible investment in yourself for the first time uh, and trust that process and trust yourself and, and what you've created in that process. Oh my gosh, to end it fully, re, you know, repaid, paid off, like, <laughs> I'm so like, I'm like, well, hello. It's just like you're winning from there on out. It's, mm -hmm. it's just all you have to do is continue to refine and show up and connect and deliver what you promise. And, mm -hmm. and things just are good. Life is mm -hmm. good. <laughs> exactly. So, like that is the goal. That is the goal. It's given yeah. me the space to start these other projects. It's given me the time. Mm -hmm the space and oh my gosh that's what I was going for I yes. have still, I'm such a visionary where I know there's these other projects that want to come together mm -hmm. other relationships that want mm -hmm. to come together in this space yeah. with yeah. other practitioners and creatives and so mm -hmm. in order to do that I had to get out of that clinic space mm -hmm. and this has given me the space and the time to do that and I'm so grateful for you <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you thank you for like actually doing the work and like making it happen I think that like what you're saying is such the perfect example of like what I try to get across of just like creating that spaciousness because when we do offer those high value high ticket programs that's what it does it frees us up to be able to help other people in other ways right because you I mean I know you you're such a heart-centered person and practitioner and like you your heart goes out to people you want to be helping right and yeah. and I know other practitioners feel the same and there's like this yeah. pull of like I just don't have the time I don't have the energy I don't have the blah 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 or like I can't make enough revenue by doing group programs or by doing low cost things or blah, 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 blah. But it's like mm -hmm. the high value, high ticket programs gives you that space because you only need a handful of people in that practice and that capacity to where that almost gets to mm -hmm. subsidize all of this other stuff that you really want to be doing that creates an even bigger ripple effect. And mm -hmm. like, that's like, that is freedom to me is like the freedom of choice. Mm -hmm. to be able to choose like where you want to put your time and energy and like when you're in the clinic and you're like doing insurance or you're doing fee for service or whatever you like that is just handcuffs you're mm -hmm. changed yeah and you're depleted and you don't have time and energy for anything else yeah yeah that's, yeah. Yeah, that's it's and we choose what we do with our time yeah and we forget that we can choose that Exactly. It's stuck in this race of showing up and with these expectations and shoulds from, you know, and a company that has nothing to do with how and when and where we treat, you know, and how yeah. we really dive in and share our inner purpose, what we were born to do. They don't care. No, not at all. I <laughs> like just get your job so, done. Just yeah. do your job. <laughs> <laughs> like, but there's so much more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, awesome. you know, and that's the beautiful thing about it. Now I'm able to, you know, be in my pharmacy and have these community events, free events for educating the community and not acupuncture and functional medicine and food. I'm, I'm free to do whatever I want, however exactly. I want. Exactly. Exactly. You know? And so <laughs> I can invite all these people into the space and see them the way I want to see them. So mm -hmm. they can connect with each other and I could connect with more people at a time. Yeah. And, and not only do I do that within my practice, but it's inspiring my own clients to do that for themselves and the people they're in contact with, whether it's their family and friends or co-workers, or if they're practitioners to some degree on their own. And so it's just a beautiful process when we really step into this space, this realm of self-care and, and really opening ourselves up and trusting other practitioners that are aligned with us to help us expand in this. Yes. Space. Yeah. 
like that is like the perfect example or the perfect definition or whatever manifestation of giving from overflow or Mm -hmm. giving from that abundance right instead of sustenance or from lack or scarcity it's like you're literally overflowing because like when you're hosting those community events you're not like oh I just like I'm I need to go do this thing it's like you're probably like holy shit like yes like let's go I'm so excited right like it's a different energy it's I love a different one yeah do you want to talk about how people can find you do you want to talk about your program that you've created yes so you can find me pretty simple (laughs) ginamorishige.com put it it in the comments so you guys can follow her on instagram too (laughs) And, and on my Instagram, I have Motoshige Herbal Pharmacy is my handle. And then my other handle is Motoshige underscore biohealth. And you can find them both on either page. So uh, there's a link to that. And then um, otherwise, my program. So I have um, the five pillars and an extra one because I've added mm-hmm. the financial sovereignty where we go through all of your labs, we go through nutrition, supplementation, all of these things, head to toe, surface to cellular. And, oh, so you know, <laughs> and I, I love that. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, we're doing everything from skin to your deepest organs and your heart and your spirit. And, and, you know, we're building up your mindset. We're expanding your connection with self and spirit. And in the end, when you have all these aspects of your health, there we dive into financial sovereignty because we all know that that is a huge stressor that brings us down and so Mm -hmm. I provide you with resources and I provide you with the empowerment you need to step into that space of giving abundantly so you can create this flow and this stream and this ripple effect in your life so that is in a nutshell the program so good so good (laughs) Ah, oh, thank you so much, Gina, for hanging out and chatting and sharing your story. It's been like such an honor to just watch you and just like watch everything that you're creating. And I know you're one of those people that's like, you're just going to keep creating these like massive movements going on. Like even what I've seen you create within the container, like not just your program, but like all of the things that you're doing, the collaborations that you're doing. And like, it's just, it's kind of mind boggling to watch you. So I you're just, it. you're so inspiring. So keep oh, it up. Thank you Thank you. I love it. <laughs> I can't wait to connect with you more in person. And- Heck yeah. yes. <laughs> Me, you and Nancy are going to hang out in Mexico. Yeah. <laughs> shout out to nancy <laughs> i love you ladies um uh, all right thank you so much Thanks, and i'll chat with you soon forever grateful for you michelle mm-hmm. chat later bye everybody <laughs>